Unboxing um, this Victron Energy Blue Solar MPPT controller. I bought the 150 uh, 35 amps, so 150 volts, 35 amps. Um, that's interesting to give you a little promo. Um, little promo notepad with a pen. So just unboxing. That's the, sorry, they get interesting to give you a little promo uh, promotional type uh, item here. Swag a pen and a notebook. And I'm just going to open this up here. First look. Got a giant heat sink on it right there. Wow. Cool. Now I'm going to bring this down now. I can get my uh, solar project completed. I'm making uh, some, uh, drilling some holes basically to get my uh, solar panels mounted. So what I did back here, I took the last, um, I guess it'd be Bimini frame bracket. Um, I had modified it to hang out over the back and I had the panels out over the back further, but then kind of just, I've been looking at it for a while. This section of the Bimini this is called here between the Dodger and the Bimini, but this section comes out when I sail. This section I like to keep because it gives me a bit of shade. Sometimes I put it back, but um, what I'm going to do is um, I've attached uh, the frame brackets here to the front legs instead of being on the back leg only. So what I've done is I've pulled the weight forward. I'm going to put the solar panels already right on top of this one, and it's got you know one, two uh, anchor points plus the uh, guardrail uh, as a supporting piece so there's a lot more strength I think because when it was hanging out over the back I was looking at it and I said well if the front ever let go for whatever reason like it would tip back but if it's in the middle here like there's a lot that would have to let go for it to fall off so I think it just gives it a little bit more strength so what I'm doing is uh, just drilling some holes and attaching these um, uh, wire clamp for ele electrical so this is the only piece here that's not stainless. But I'm going to have to find something like this. Uh, maybe even a hardened plastic or something. But, um, and then I'm just going to put that on top of the uh, the frame. So I'll show that in a sec. So I've got this wood here just to make sure I don't drill through the panel. And then I've got the vacuum here to suck everything up. That's uh, 76.2 volts, and that's at uh, in series, getting connected in series here, and that is uh, thinking out loud here. Uh, I'm not too sure how many amps, but about five amps. I should be able to get out of these uh, panels. So my 48 volt battery system, it, uh, I needed more voltage. Um, than the uh, batteries. So basically I had to run a minimum of three panels and the, they suggested four panels. So this one on the end is missing one brace. So maybe I'll make a brace 
or maybe I'll make an arch on the back. I'm not too sure. I'll just let it sit for through a few storms, and if it looks really wobbly, then I'll uh, I'll move it like it's moving. But it also has this uh, bra the wire in the middle too, so um, it really can't go anywhere. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so this uh, Victron. Blue Solar Charge Controller MPPT 150 with 35 can handle up to 150 volts, 35 amps. That's the way that I understand this to work. And uh, it's supposed to be able to take a Bluetooth dongle, but I don't see where to do that. There must be a plug somewhere. So I plan on installing this underneath the uh, seating here in the uh, kind of industrial area of the boat. That's where my uh, furnace is, so in the winter time. The VE Direct, that must be the connector for the Bluetooth then. So I've got, um, they look like I can take some very large gauge cables. Um, you're supposed to first hook up the battery so this turns on. And then, then you connect up the PV. So it's like plus, minus, minus, plus. So they put the grounds in the center just in case, I guess, you touch them. I'm guessing. Uh, but that's just a basic uh, common thread screw. Press fit. And... I'm guessing that's another external ground for the chassis. It's good that they have this nice uh, heat sink on it. So it's made in India, but it's designed in the Netherlands, Europe. So it's a European tool, but five year warranty. That's why I picked this. And uh, it's made for marine. So essentially this is a solid state, uh, self-enclosed E7 or 69, whatever device it is. So uh, IP43, there it is. Uh, so it's good for marine applications. So uh, hopefully I get some good success with this. And it's pretty simple. Uh, the only thing is, is that the, with the Bluetooth, you get the iPhone app. And uh, so I'll film that as soon as I get it running. This is not an easy fit. <laughs> wow. Okay, maybe I gotta get rid of this stuff. I think that might make more sense because uh, even though I do fit, I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, one thing I read in the uh, read this before you start manual was that it auto detects the voltage, but you kind of get one shot at it. So in my case, it's 48 volts. Uh, so as soon as I connect it to it and it powers up the first time, the MPPT controller is then set to 48 volts. So I can't use it on a 24 volt system after that because it's um, it's been hard set that way. So you have to call the manufacturer if you need to change voltages. So don't test it on a 12 volt and then connect it to a 24 or 48 volt. I didn't want to accidentally short out the controller here. Uh, so I took it back off the wall. It was just too complicated trying to get the wires in uh, such a small space. Uh, this was a lot easier. Get this mounted. Sorry, I think this is pr pr primarily the insulation because the gauge is actually the same. It's a 10 gauge wire 
So um, what I'm going to do is uh, run these uh, both up from the top and uh, the positive and the negative is uh, determined by the male and the female connector and uh, you can see from up here this one needs the male and the other one needs the uh, the female got it but that's basically what I'm doing so I'm going to take these wires out and rerun run these new ones and I got a 30 foot length of cable I figured that should be long enough so we'll see how this goes all right working in cramped spaces I just wanted to point out something I was really impressed actually I was only getting, uh, oh, I shouldn't talk too soon, but, oh, there it goes. It's very cloudy, overcast. It's uh, 6 o'clock at night, and the panels are not aiming at anything. And I'm actually getting 37 watts uh, out of them. The old wires, which are those ones, right there, I think they're there, yeah. Um, they were getting 17 watts, so I'm almost getting twice the output with the uh, wires. And taking a look at them... They're just insulated in, and they're new and they're not really beat up. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit less voltage, but I'm getting more watts. So that's kind of cool. Plus um, 60 degrees Celsius. So it's uh, made for rough weather. And this is an area that doesn't get rained on. And I'm going to be taking this box out afterwards. So. Um, yeah, so now I'm happy with the charge cables, uh, the way they look here, and this is um, 150 volts, 35 amps, uh, Victron Energy, and uh, I am liking it, so uh, what I like about it the most, I think, is the, um, the stats that I'm getting from the, uh, from the app. I have the Bluetooth dongle here hanging off it, and... Uh, I'm impressed by the stats. So right now, like I said, the sun's setting. It's 6 o'clock. Uh, the angle on these panels is brutal, but I still have more voltage. I have uh, enough volts that the battery... This is actually trying to charge right now. And then taking a look at my history, um, you know, you can kind of see this was in the beginning when I had... Um, the batteries were being charged, so I was busy charging, and then it says, okay, I've hit enough charge, I can't charge anymore. So the gray is the bulk, and then you can actually click on this, and you can see on this day I had uh, 12 hours of float, one minute of absorption, and I did three hours of bulk charging. Uh, whereas, uh, so you can kind of actually by yeah, the, uh, it's interesting by the graphs, you can tell which days I actually motored, because uh, you know I motored on this day, I motored on this day, and then I was in Ottawa, and then I motored and I motored because I've been working on the propeller and things, so. Each day you can see how much I'm using. So the panels have generated 14 kilowatt hours in total. And uh, 16th to, to not quite a month have I. Uh, these uh, 400 watts of panels seem to be doing a pretty good thing. And then uh, you can also, in this view here, you can kind of um, take a look at trends that are going on. So. Um, the solar current you can see when I got them plugged back in here the voltage went from nothing to uh, I guess 70 some volts um, I think that's where you put it yeah so you can kind of drag that around and you can analyze to see what's actually happening so the current uh, was trying to go so now you can see the current is actually up here at 0.8 amps charging and I have it limited to two amps because uh, I just wanted to do a trickle charge. I didn't want it to go full bore charging. So these cables here are um, 10 gauge UV insulated cables. They're the thickest ones uh, that are appropriate for this. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot, of, a lot of overhead I think on these cables. Um, interesting eh, that these, if you can see down here, um, these cables these cables here are the same gauge as these cables so the size of the wire is the same inside but this is the coating on that wire and um, this is the the new wire so the old wire I used on the outside and then what I was seeing was that the, um, the because they weren't UV protected 
I was getting some fade in the cables. So this is uh, where it was inside and this is where it was outside. So it's not the right cable to use. So I was, uh, eventually that'll crack and then, you know, there's a possibility of shorting and ruining the panel. So that those doesn't make sense to keep it like that. So switch it over to the right cables and uh, yeah. uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Uh, I'm just documenting my journey from uh, a boat with um, nothing working on it from uh, the purchaser that I had um, two years now or la last year two seasons this is my second season and uh, we went through the whole process of um, restoring the boat getting the engine working and then uh, over this winter doing the electric conversion solar panel additions and uh, I'm doing the remodeling now of the interior of, while I'm in harbor um, and we're just basically making this um, more, hopefully going to be doing a longer journey uh, as soon as this COVID thing opens up uh, our borders and whatnot because right now everything's locked down so we can't really go anywhere but uh, if we can't go this year we'll go next year so uh, thumbs up really appreciate it and any feedback or comments on what I'm doing uh, love to hear from you